If you are stuck for ideas for your next family holiday, your couple's luxury retreat, sounds nice, doesn't it? Or a travel adventure, also nice, then we have some dates for you to mark on your calendar. Debbie is back in the Harvey Norman Lounge to give us all the details. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, I've got dates for you to mark on your calendar. I have got a venue for you as well. And I've got a fantastic prize draw to tell you all about as well. I am super excited about the Xi Young Young outdoor expo and travel show. So it's coming up at Auckland's ASB showgrounds on the 14th and 15th of October. I know it sounds a little early to be telling you about it, but there's a really great prize draw that you can enter today. Excellent. First up though, tell us all about the expo. Okay, well this is the third annual expo. So it's basically a huge range of mostly domestic, but also international travel activities and experiences, including airlines, there's wildlife encounters, luxury accommodation, laser tag, all under one roof. So not only is it really helpful to talk to the operators themselves, the exhibitors have really fantastic discounts and deals. There's also food, you can try some of the experiences, and plenty to keep the kids happy as well. More than 10,000 people visited last year's event, and this year's will be even bigger than that. So you could actually book your entire holiday under the one roof and you could save heaps on a regular price. Yes, yeah, absolutely. So this year, organisers are encouraging people to actually think about what their travel style is to help them find the best exhibitor to deal with. So you could be someone who loves hole-in-the-wall sort of street food and uh, get your trips with reward points, or you could be the whole other end of the spectrum you could choose your destination, not even looking at the price tag, and go first class the whole way. So there's an exhibitor oh, there. Nice. Yeah, I know, <laughs> or a little bit of both. So there's an exhibitor there to help you with anything you want to know about. And this is what some of last year's exhibitors had to say. In the sales, they've been very, very good. For us, it's been a great success. Really, really good, and we should build on this for next year. We'll be back, guarantee. A lot of business from us and a lot of communication with others as well. It's our first year here, it's been great, definitely think about coming back next year, it's been really encouraging for us, so it's been awesome. Everyone's interested in the products, so we'd like to come back and, and show everyone our outdoor equipment next year. That looks really good. So tell me some of the things that you can see there. OK, well, if you're interested in family activities, the Rotorua Duck Tour people are going to be there, so you can ask them whatever questions you have about their tours. So it is the first and still the only company in New Zealand to take visitors on an authentic amphibious World War II landing craft. You can see we did this uh, earlier in the year, it's fantastic. So during the ride, you get to see the Rotorua Lakes District and you hear about the history of the area and the people as well. We splashed into the blue and the green lake. So you go straight from the road, right into the water. The kids can't quite believe what's just happened. <laughs> yes, we've got into the water. We are a boat. Oh, yeah. And they also get quackers, which are not annoying at all. Quackers? They are a little bit annoying, I've got to admit. Oh, <laughs> the noisemakers oh, that they have when no. you blow them out the window oh, at people. No. Yeah, it's that really would be good entirely a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, so it's a really good way to see the Rotorua as well. What yeah. about adventure? Because I love a bit of adventure. What should be on our bucket list? OK, well, here's one for you. Taieri Gorge Railway. I did recently and the guys from Dunedin Railways will be there to tell you all about it at the expo. So Taieri Gorge is of course one of the most popular tourist attractions in New Zealand. Trips through the gorge have sightseeing stops and there are outside viewing platforms on most of the carriages on the trains. There's also a cafe on the trains and commentary so you can learn about the history of the line and some really cool stories about the locals as well. Uh, you could travel into Middlemarch as we did, have lunch there and stay in town or hop back on board the train for the trip back into Dunedin. So a really brilliant trip, Tyody Gorge. So you can find out more about these activities at the Expo? Yeah, absolutely. Those and dozens of others as well. So staff from those companies will be there to help you plan your trip, answer any questions and they also have deals that you won't find anywhere else but at the expo so you need to go there to find the great deals uh, including the prize draw that we are announcing today yeah that's right this is a great prize draw you can enter this today so go to the Ji Young Young outdoor expo and travel show website enter the code the cafe and fill in your name and your details to go in the draw for an amazing 55 inch smart TV yes they're giving away a great TV and one of four $50 food vouchers to use at the expo so free entry free food you might want a free TV as well. It's oh my goodness, are. that sounds incredible. Yeah. Debbie, thank you so much. Uh, the Outdoor Expo and Travel Show is on the 14th and 15th of October at the ASB Showgrounds in Auckland. So go into that prize drawer and like the Facebook page too to get a reminder closer to the event.